What's up, rich people? It's me, Haley, and I'm a financial pop star. When you keep your money out of the market, it won't grow. And then because of inflation, you're actually going to be able to buy less with it. Need to pick a credit card? Stop scrolling. Here are the three things to consider when choosing one. Choosing between buying and renting is as confusing as Ben's back tattoo. Don't start investing until you know this one fact. Rich people always pay themselves first. They know that inflation steals your wealth. That's why you have to invest. Well, that is financial pop star Haley Sachs, a.k.a. Mrs. Dow Jones. Now, she has over 300,000 followers across her social media platforms where she posts important financial topics for the modern day adult. She's also the founder of a financial education platform called Finance is Cool. And Haley Sachs joins us now. Haley, great to have you on the show. I'll have to ask you about that nickname in just a second. But obviously right now we're starting to see some signs of economic recovery, but the prices are still high. So what are some tips that you have specifically for young adults trying to minimize the impact of inflation? Thank you so much for having me. I think inflation is top of mind for everyone. And there are some really easy ways to make it not that big of a deal. Obviously, it's affecting everyone. But if you are able to, first and foremost, take control of your spending, it's really going to ease the effects of inflation, right? You don't want to panic. You want to stay calm and make sure that you know what's coming in and out of your budget every single month. That way you can free up a little bit of extra money, hopefully, to move towards your goals. Because we know very well that the only way to combat inflation really is by growing your money into wealth and stock market. So my whole goal for young people is for them to be able to invest despite this economic climate. Um, Haley, it's Akiko here. Before we move on to the second question, I do have to ask you about your name, Mrs. Dow Jones. Why Mrs.? Where'd you get that? I chose Mrs. because I am married to my financial future. I do not have to make any decisions based on fear or because I cannot support myself. I have financial stability and that gives me freedom to choose how I live my life. And I think that for women, especially, that's so important. And that is why I chose Mrs. Dow Jones, because I am married to my wealth that is compounding currently in the stock market. Okay, so let, let's talk about investing. I mean, it's intimidating for a lot of people who haven't done it before. Talk to us about your financial literacy journey and what particularly um, you say to people that, you know, who are still pretty young, who are saying, like, why is it important to get in, to, to be invested so early? The time value of money, right? The biggest, when I started my journey, the first thing that I learned about was compound interest. And I was, I mean, I was, I've always been very into Warren Buffett. And so I was reading one of his books and you know, it was all about compound interest. And I was like, why is there so much about compound interest? So boring. Like, I get it, compounding. And then I was like, oh, I get why they're making it such a big deal because this is sort of like the secret to getting rich, right? Like you, you put your money in earlier, then it will actually have time to snowball and build on itself and get bigger and bigger. So super important to get your money in the market ASAP. Um, and we just launched our first investing course, Investing 101. It's called Let's Invest. It's doing super well. And um, it's just been really awesome to bring my entertainment background to the world of finance because obviously it can be pretty stiff and, uh, you know, it makes it a lot easier for people to get educated if they, it's done in a way that they actually want to learn. <laughs> And it's tough because there can be this sort of information overload and people start panicking, sort of wondering how they should be vetting their financial literacy experts, especially young people. I mean, you're scrolling on TikTok, you see someone telling you do this, someone else saying doing that. How should people determine who they should actually listen to right now? First and foremost, I always look to see if people have press uh, behind them. Like, you know, I've been featured in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, of course, I'm on Yahoo Finance, CNBC. So 
I think that when traditional finance is behind you, um, it makes it clear that what you're saying is actually worthwhile. And then, you know, obviously run the other way if anyone tells you that you can get rich quick. You should be following people's advice that seems almost boring. Like financial, really growing wealth in the stock market is a long-term game and it shouldn't be that exciting. Um, and so, you know, if you find anyone on social media that's going selling you these quick fixes, obviously that's going to be something that is probably not really worth listening to. But yeah, we have these great investing tips for beginners, um, which is fabulous. I think it's so hard to get started, but when you break it down like this, it makes it so much more manageable. Um, and something I tell people all the time is like knowing what you're investing towards, how important that really is. Uh, because when you have a narrative in your mind for why you are doing something, it motivates you so much more. So Haley, let's switch things up a bit here. We want to play a game. Ask a finance influencer. We're going to give you a topic or a scenario. You give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, and a rapid fire answer about how you feel. We good? Fabulous. Okay, yes. first one, buy now, pay later. Why thumbs down? Thumbs down because it creates bad spending habits and will get you into debt. All right, I'm going to go with mass firing employees over Zoom. Especially if the CEO is crying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are ways to <laughs> do bomb, this, right? Yeah. <laughs> made a lot of headlines. <laughs> um, one that we've heard from a lot of um, investors, having exposure to crypto in your portfolio. I think that having diversification and taking on high-risk investments is a great thing, but you just have to make sure that you have exposure to, you know, safer bets as well, so that you're not, you know, so too vulnerable to the ups and downs. Here's one that's a, a test of time, splitting the check evenly at dinner, even though all you had was an appetizer. Ooh, that's gonna be a uh, new from me dog. Um, I'm all about financial transparency with your friends and with who you're dating. And so if you're ever in a situation that makes you uncomfortable, speak up. And here's one that I think a lot of people can relate to, wedding season in full swing. <laughs> Spending money you don't have on a bachelor or bachelorette party. I can't even show my face to put my thumbs down because this makes me so upset. I hate the pressure around like weddings. And I think that, uh, you know, definitely a no, no. Say no to Tulum and say yes to your 401k. Well, there you go. Mrs. Dow Jones, they're married to her financial future. Haley Sachs, it's been fantastic having you on. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Have a good one.